So you're thinking about moving to the Bixby Knolls area of Long Beach. In this video, we're gonna be discussing the pros and cons of living in Bixby Knolls, and we're gonna to get to it right now. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hi, my name is Sharon with Sharon Armstrong Homes, and I'm just really looking forward to chatting with you about Bixby Knolls and the pros and the cons. If you are interested in everything real estate in regards to Long Beach and the surrounding areas, then subscribe, hit the notification bell, feel free to reach out directly via email or text, give me a call, whatever suits you best, and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, let's get going on our pros and cons for the Bixby Knolls area in Long Beach. Uh, Bixby Knolls is uh, really a terrific location. Location, of course, is everything in real estate, right? You wanna be the person in a fabulous location with maybe a home that needs a little bit of love as opposed to somebody who has, you know, an amazing home, but you're not in such a great area. So it's all about location and Bixby Knolls is uh, fabulous and very, you know, reputable as a nice area. Um, so location is terrific. You're close to freeways, you're close to the LA airport as well as the Long Beach airport. Uh, you're close to the ocean and, you know, I would say drivable, easily drivable to the mountains or the high desert. You know, Palm Springs is really two, three hours. It could be more depending on traffic, right? Um, but you can get to the mountains very easily in a couple of hours. And I will say even, you know, I'm, I'm a, an avid hiker and I love to go up the 605 and um, just to that sort of a Zeus area. There's tons of hiking up there and you really feel like you're just in the middle of the mountains. So um, Hollywood Hills type area and stuff, it's all super close and Bixby is just that much closer to it than you know other parts of Long Beach. So terrific location, um, ha it has lots to offer. So um, what I will say is let's talk a little bit about the airports because those can be a pro and a con depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Um, you are close in proximity, of course, uh, to LA International Airport, and it's pretty easy to get there, just uh, straight up the 405, which is really our main thoroughfare in Long Beach. There's, of course, other freeways, but the 405 is really the one that you're gonna be traveling the most if you're living in Bixby Knolls. Uh, the LA Airport is not honestly all that far, but because of traffic, it's gonna take you a little bit to get there, um, you know, maybe half hour, plus depending of course if you um, do hit traffic hitting out there but you're still really pretty close um, the other airport of course is the long beach airport which really you can just take streets to you're going to be very close to that 15 minutes if that and um long beach is great if you've never traveled in or out of long beach airport it's uh it's a smaller airport of course not an international airport but there's tons of flights it's super easy to get checked in um, get picked up from, get dropped off at. It's really a terrific airport to get in, in and out of. But um, as far as Bixby Knolls is concerned, because Bixby Knolls is on the takeoff side of the runway of the airport, you are going to get some uh, noise. And if you, you know, if you're an aviator or uh, an aviation aficionado, if you will, uh, you can sit on your front porch in some of those neighborhoods and wave at the planes as they go by. But if that's not you and you don't want to be in direct flight path, that's something that you and I can talk about and we'll make sure that we stay away from those particular few streets that uh, we need to keep you out of. You know, they gain height pretty quickly, so um, there's only a small area that's affected by that. Um, but if, if that's going to be a problem, again, that's a conversation we need to have and that can be a con for people. Um, the other thing that is actually my number one favorite thing about Bixby Knowles is that it's very architecturally diverse. Uh, you're going to have all kinds of different homes right next door to each other, just simply because when people bought the land in the early 1900s when Bixby Knowles was established, they just built their own homes. They bought the land and had somebody build it or they built it themselves and they built whatever they wanted to build on that property. So you don't have tracked homes, which I think is really cool. You don't have, you know, the same version of the same house that's just been turned around and added a bedroom on or something and everything looks pretty similar. You're not, not gonna see any of that in Bixby Knolls because it's an older area and um, everybody built what they wanted to build on their little plot of land, so it's great. Um, the other thing that's wonderful about that is that the lots were fairly large. Um, 
you know, 9,000 square foot lots, 7,000 square foot lots plus uh, in much, much of the areas, which is terrific. Uh, you're, you're not gonna see that as much in some of the other parts of Long Beach that were built uh, a little more recently, even in the you know 60s, 50s, 60s, just because it was established so early and the plots of land were much larger. People did farming and things like that, so they needed more land. Um, so it's it's kind of cool, you know. I've had uh, people, you know, I have no, I know of people homes that have uh, basketball courts or tennis courts in their backyard, which is kind of cool that you have enough room to do that. Um, if you're a person who loves to have a pool, Bixby Knolls could be a great place for you to look for a home just because you're going to have potentially a lot of land to work with. So um, there's some great um, opportunity for that there. The con for that, of course, is that um, the homes tend to be a little more expensive, right? You're paying for that land. Land is expensive here in Southern California and you're going to pay for that land if you don't use it you know, maybe it would be better for us to look for a home for you in a part of Bixby that doesn't have the huge, huge lots because it, it does get pricey. Um, another great thing about Bixby is that it's walkable. Um, I mean, really, you could do without a car if you didn't have to go uh, anywhere else as far as work or if you work from home. Um, I, I would venture to say you could do without a car here. And that's saying a lot because in much of Southern California, you really kind of need a car, but, um, if you're open to public transportation for the times that you need to get, you know, someplace outside of there, but you could walk to grocery stores, you can walk to restaurants, you can walk to doctor's offices. There's a ramen, there's ramen places, there's Mexican food, there's breakfast places, there's ice cream, you name it. And Bixby, uh, Bixby has it. So most of your shopping and, and restaurants and bars and things are going to be on Atlantic Avenue or Long Beach Boulevard. They run um, parallel to each other. And really there's just tons of opportunity there that's available. So um, that's definitely a pro uh, for most people. Um, I will say the con on that side is going to be that there's a little bit of a downtown vibe. And I know that sounds like a great thing and it is for most people, but um, because of that sort of downtown-ish feel, you're going to have a little bit of, um, you know, things that are negative about a downtown area. So if you think about downtown LA or even downtown Long Beach, some of that stuff that's negative that comes with being in a downtown area, noise, um, you know, lots of people walking around, people parking in front of your house, things like that that kind of get on your nerves. You're going to have some of that if you're living just off Atlantic or just off of Long Beach Boulevard. You know, as you move further on the interior, it's not gonna be as much guys. So. We just need to talk and figure out what's most important to you as far as where you want to be and how uh, involved you want to be in that uh, downtown sort of vibe. But there's a great, uh, you know, nightlife there. There's uh, there's lots of people that uh, that go out. There's like, you know, um, everything's open on Friday nights. You know, it's it's pretty fun. Um, but again, if that's not your thing, then we just need to get you on a little more, you know. Um, in inward sections away from those major streets and then you're not gonna not gonna have as much of that and, and hear as much as that but um so that can be a pro and a con if you will um <laughs> all right so um the other thing i want to mention to you is in that virginia country club area where all those amazing homes are there is um the original um you know establishment uh in uh, Bixby Knolls and it's actually a historical site and basically they have um, now you know they are doing events and weddings and things like that uh, it was originally a, uh, a ranch they raised sheep they um, sheared them for their wool sold the wool and then let it grow back and sheared them again when it came time and sold the wool you know and the process went on eventually the market for that uh was gone and they they shut everything down and it sat vacant for a while ultimately um like i said it's it's an event center now and a historical site um, they also have a small museum there and they do like um, day camps and things like that for kids in the summer so it's kind of a fun place to visit especially if you live in bixby knolls and you're interested in the history it's um it could be kind of a cool place to take the kids um, let's chat really quick about another uh, thing that i see as a pro and that is going to be the um the price ranges so the median um sale price in bixby knolls last month which was may of 2021 was uh, 
So uh, what I want to you to keep in mind when we're talking about that is Bixby, um, because it has such a diverse type of home for sale, all right? We have condos. Um, if you watched my previous video where we, we went and visited some different price ranges, one of the first condo that we looked at was a $400,000 one bedroom, one bath condo, all right? Now you can get a $400,000 condo in Bixby or you can get a $4 million-ish property uh, in Virginia Country Club area, right? So this is where that 947 comes from. Don't let that number scare you because there's a lot of homes that are on the lower side. Um, and then you're going to have some homes, of course, that kick that average price point up really high. If, if something sold last month for $3 million in Bixby Knowles, it's going to kick that price up, right? Um, but the majority of the homes, I would say, are you know under that $2 million mark. Um, you're uh, again going to have a few homes in that Virginia Country Club area that are pretty pricey, but for the most part, uh, homes are are less than that. So, um, so I think that's kind of cool. You've got a, a, a wide range that you can choose from. So, really, no matter what price range you're in, there is some potential for you to purchase in Bixby Knolls, depending um, on what you want, of course. Um, all right. So Bixby Knolls also, by the way, has great schools. Um, the only thing that I will mention is it is not necessarily a destination for raising a young family. Now it is absolutely family oriented. I'm not, don't get me wrong. Um, a lot of people raise their kids there and they absolutely adore it. Um, what I'm saying is as far as the demographics go, there's more singles and retired people than there are people in their thirties, forties with, you know, children. So, um, there's a lot, like I said, there's kind of that nightlife. So you are gonna see a lot of singles. You're gonna see a lot of young married uh, adults with no kids. You're also gonna see a pretty large population of people who have been there, done that, and they have uh, are just looking for a nice, quiet place to retire with a nice big lot and a beautiful home. And you're gonna have a lot of, a lot of that as well. So um, again, diversity, diversity, diversity. If you're into diversity, Bixby Knolls and Long Beach are great places to live. There's just so many wonderful, wonderful people here and different kinds of people. And uh, I just, I love it here. It is just fabulous. So um, I hope that's all been super helpful. And I look forward to chatting with you about your specific needs and wants as far as purchasing in Long Beach or, you know, outside of Long Beach. Of course, I do other areas. I just live in Long Beach and I um, grew up here, so I know it really, really well. It sort of is my passion, but absolutely. I've done tons of business outside of Long Beach and the surrounding areas like Lakewood or um, Cypress Huntington Beach. I've even gone down into Southern Orange County um, or up into the South Bay. So, you know, don't let that, uh, don't be, don't think that I'm confined to Long Beach because I'm absolutely not. And as we venture out and do some more videos, we'll hit some of those other areas. But for now, this is where we are in Bixby Knolls. I hope you found that helpful. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're gonna be um, the first person to know about a new video coming on. And I really, really appreciate you being here and spending your time with me. I hope you have a beautiful day.